Got a final sheet in front of me, if I can uh, cheat a little bit and have a look at it. I don't know what the ice time was. Did you get your ice time yet, by the way? No, I Not yet. It was no, over seven minutes. I think I You got guys it. got it? Ask him if he played the last five Seven, minutes. eight minutes of play it's time. Seven, uh, one. Okay, um, we're talking with Ozzy and, and uh, Mickey York. It's uh, seven, oh, eight. Beautiful two to one win. Uh, it's been a long week. Uh, your thoughts on today's game, for starters? Yeah, for sure. No, it was just awesome uh, to get in a couple days ago and then uh, just work hard a couple practices and uh, to be in today and uh, for the team to get to win, it's awesome and uh, just try to enjoy it as much as possible. It's it was pretty it, cool. It has been uh, probably a whirlwind uh, week for you. Uh, could you ever envision that it would have been this way? Uh, you know, maybe a month ago when you guys were still fighting in Princeton? No, definitely not. I think uh, all all of our uh, attention was with Princeton and uh, we knew we wanted to make a run this year and um, we had the team to do it obviously uh, it was heartbreaking to fall a bit short um, but just the last week or so has been a bit crazy um, but it's just been a, a pleasure to be uh, part of this organization and everybody's been so welcoming and to finish up on specifically today uh, how did it feel stepping out under the ice with a Detroit Red Wing logo on your chest and looking around this beautiful big building and like what was going through your mind? Uh, yeah, it was incredible. Um, I think obviously such a storied organization. Uh, I just tried to take it all in, especially in the warm-up and stuff. Um, it, it was awesome and all the guys were super helpful and I'm just trying to talk as much as possible, just try to help me uh, be in the right spots and stuff. So it, it was pretty incredible. And how about mom and dad being here? I had a chance to talk with them before the game round. Forbert, he was upstairs with his yeah. dad. And I mean, it's a great day for everybody involved uh, around you as well. Yeah, for sure. No, it's awesome for them to come and then uh, the girlfriend, brother, and then a few friends as well. It's, it's just incredible um, for them to join. And they, we got them here. That's just hilarious. Um, but no, it's awesome. Uh, for them to be here it's, it's it's really just a dream come true to see them here and uh who, yeah they're awesome who yeah. drove you to the rink most of the time was it your mom or your dad or both of them when well, you were growing up honestly both of them yeah. they they were so good depending on the day if my mom was yeah. teaching or my dad was at work um yeah. they they interchanged they were so good about it because we had hockey once twice even three times a day sometimes so um they were awesome and they were so supportive the whole way switching gears a little bit uh you had some choices uh when you were coming out uh, well i'll get to the non-draft thing in a minute why the Detroit Red Wings other than the others? Um, it's such an unbelievable organization. Um, obviously, I was able to talk to them throughout the season, and uh, um, just everything about it was, was so professional and so welcoming um, as well, and I knew that it was a place that I wanted to be. And I, I, I think um, just in life, that's where you, you want to be, um, somewhere you're going to be welcome, and you're going to be able to get to work and, and push yourself as much as possible, and the sports staff here... Um, are, are able to offer that and as long as I work hard I know that I'll become a better player and uh, that's what I found with this unbelievable organization let alone the history of it as well. I speak about, I speak about uh, Ryan no draft in the in the OHL the Ontario Hockey League and no draft at the NHL I'm sure you you would like to have been drafted and you're disappointed you weren't what gave you that motivation after that to, to say hey, you know what's going on here what do I need to do to get more attention to get where I want to go and to fulfill my dream yeah for sure I think uh, being from Ottawa um, you, we grew up watching the Ottawa 67s um, just in the neighborhood and uh, so so just to be uh, um, just to be not drafted I think it was a good way to motivate myself and, and set goals because um, I because I knew it wasn't going to be the easy way um, that was the biggest thing and so I just wanted to uh, to work as hard as possible on what I could control. You're watching games, uh, I'm sure, NHL games from the Ottawa area and the Princeton area. Did you have a, a favorite in the NHL, no matter what team he was on when you were growing up and when you were at Princeton? Um, yeah, for sure. Obviously, Sidney Crosby um, um, when I was growing up, but also Daniel Alfredson, just uh, being from, uh, from sure. Ottawa. Right. It was so cool and such an easy guy to respect. and. Uh, um, just awesome to watch him play the game and go on a couple runs with the Sens just growing up was, was pretty cool and then um, to, to finally be able to meet him and um, golf with him in the summers now is, uh, is pretty cool. We'll get to that in a moment. I understand you're a pretty good golfer. Guys, you're over at the Ram desk. You got, you got something you want to say? He's got an earpiece in, Ryan does. You got a question for Ryan, guys? Well, Ryan, I, this is Mickey York. And welcome, <laughs> first of all, to Detroit. Uh, great to have you here. I was just wondering, from the moment you sign, you get a couple of practices under your belt. Next thing you know, you're out there playing your first National Hockey League game. Has it had a chance to sink in yet? Do you think you'll be able to take a moment to catch your breath and realize all that's happened here in the last few days? 
Honestly, it's been a lot. I think uh, just the overwhelming support from everybody um, who's been able to reach out and everybody here. Um, it, it's it's definitely been a lot, but but I think at the same time, I just wanted to try to take the time when I did have uh, a bit of time off um, to, to, to just take it in a bit as much as possible. I think, I think that's the biggest thing and um, just try to learn as much as possible as well. I think once I can take it all in, it's trying to trying to figure out what I can do to become a better hockey player. And uh, that's what I have to do here. I want you to know, you're going to get in some more games, I'm sure. I took you today we, in a subject we call light the lamp, you know, and I get two points if you score. You'll, yeah, you'll, sorry you'll, about that. Break you'll get in, me Mickey. down the line. You'll get more ice time. Mickey's going to do a lot better than that. It, uh, Ryan, uh, uh, Chris Osgood here now. I, I'm going to ask you. I was down in the locker room before. I didn't see you, unfortunately, but Hedrick Zetterberg was in there. Did you get a chance to meet with him at all since he, he, he's been here or since you've been here? Yeah, I have. Um, I got to meet him yesterday. Obviously, uh, it's so cool um, growing up watching uh, watching the Detroit Red Wings have so much success. And um, so Henrik, uh, to meet him, was, was incredible. But there are also so many guys on this team um, that are great leaders um, like him and that are able to be around the younger guys and uh, kind of just introduce themselves to to us um, and uh, yeah it's just awesome because obviously grew up watching these guys have so much success and um, yeah it's just an honor to be able to be in their midst we... and uh, and uh, meet them awesome uh, my anyway, understanding is Nick, go, go ahead, ahead Ozzy. I was gonna say like, like when you sign with Detroit and you knew you were coming here which one of the players in that locker room were you the most excited to meet um, uh, that's a that's a good question. I think uh, Hen Henrik Zetterberg was a guy that um, that I watched really closely as well. Kind of kind of try to try to work my game around when I was growing up, and there was always there was a guy uh, that had a ton of success. But um, I think anybody. Um, and everybody on this team who's who's been around and has so much success and won won a couple cups. I think I think that's pretty cool. And um, just everybody, I, I watch so many games around the NHL, and um, to meet all these guys that I kind of watch on TV um, is really cool. And they've all been so welcoming. So I think that's the biggest thing. Right. You know, Ryan, we, that was a great answer. But you were supposed to say Mickey Redmond and Chris Osgood, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> just so you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that that was that was incredible as well. Uh, I'm joking. <laughs> oh, you played great tonight. And congratulations on your first game. It was great. It puts things in perspective, Mickey, how lucky we are to play this game watching this young oh, yeah. man tonight play. It's it sure awesome. does. It's awesome. You know, now they talk about you being a great shooter. You'll be able to read the play pretty well. You got a great shot. You're a good skater and all that hockey stuff. Did you take a test yesterday for Princeton? No, I, I kind of... In astronomy? No, no, I, so I was supposed to. Really? Um, but I, I got to push back just because it's been a, a bit of a bit hectic here. <laughs> um, I wondered if the stars had told you no, what you were going to do today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> But we, we've got, I've got one lined up in the next week or so. We the guy's probably going to be pretty mad at me right now. I haven't we, answered him in a couple days. We, we joke. None of us, I don't think, ever got closer to college and probably sweeping the floors. But uh, you're in a grade-A student down there. You've got to be to go to Princeton. Your economics and finance. Hopefully yeah. you're going to need that background when you sign and get that big money in the NHL <laughs> long term. That's all good stuff. Before we wrap it up, hobbies. You mentioned golf. You're pretty good. Your brother's... Uh, pretty good too I hear yeah and my dad as well okay. I think uh, yeah they sweep the floor with me but I think the last couple summers um, outside oh here we go outside of uh, <laughs> outside of training and stuff it's been pretty cool to be around the golf course with my brother and uh, and dad and all those buddies there. I think it's uh, it's phenomenal. And here's Max Verano who made his NHL debut a couple nights ago with the Sens. Uh, hey, I think um, there might have been some editing in this video. I don't, I don't know for sure. I don't know about that. I think it, it looks pretty natural. It's Hold about, it every time. It's a pretty yeah, good. We uh, we get to be around the golf course. It's just awesome to kind of decompress. And Pretty good yeah. stuff. And last question, there was a, a note that was handed to me about a fortune cookie. That's something about music and what have you. What was that all about back in 2013? Do you remember? Oh my God! I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Oh. You have musical talents. Make them known. Yeah, what is yeah. that all about? That's hilarious. I don't know. I, you I forget. Guess I'm a terrible singer, but uh, really? Well, look where yeah, we're going. Give, oh, give us a Come on, sing, sing me something. Hey there, Delilah. What's it like in New York? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to do it. How about uh, today? It, today is the day before St. Patrick's Day. How about I've been a Wild Rover for many oh years. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I spent all me money on whiskey and beer. <laughs> <laughs> you had that prepared. It is coffee oh, Irish? That's impromptu. <laughs> hey, listen. All right, you guys. I think we're going to wrap it up. Let me get back in the dressing room. Congratulations on, on the whole ride. And uh, good luck with uh, uh, going forward here with the Red Wings. What hey, a great day. And, and so God much. bless your infectious smile. Yeah, I really Thanks appreciate for it. Thanks for having me on, guys. Okay, buddy. That's Thank awesome. you very right. much. Thanks, Ryan. Oh, wow. Thanks well, guys, that smile will, will send you home and ready for St. Patrick's Day. Mm -hmm. uh, with bells on.